Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video showing you how to install the Blazer ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S3 or Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, you're going to need to make sure your device is rooted. You need to root your device. Um, I do have a video on how to do that if you want to follow that. But anyways, once rooted, of course, once you root it, you'll, you will have a custom recovery clockwork mod, so you're ready to go there. So uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to this website right here. Before I get into anything, I do want to give a shout out and big thanks to the developer Phantom Hacker, uh, my man Phantom Hacker. He's a great guy, so be sure to thank him. I'm always helping everyone out. So here we go. So you'll see Phantom ROMs, Blazer ROM. Go ahead and scroll down, gives you information about the ROM, but you will see downloads right here. So go ahead and click on any of these mirrors right here. Um, just click on any of them. It'll be all the same ROM file. Uh, whichever one's the fastest for you. So click on one of them, it'll download the ROM for you. Uh, it'll be a zip file. Uh, just transfer that zip file over to your device, whether it be your SD card or internal storage. Either one works. Uh, so make sure you transfer it on over to your phone. Don't unzip it, just keep it zipped. Transfer that zip file on over. Once you've transferred it over, you're ready to go. Go back to your device. All right, and once we're back to our phone and our zip file is on our device, what we're gonna need to do is get into our custom recovery. So go ahead and power off your device because of course we're gonna need to get into clockwork mod. I put the zip on my internal storage. I haven't put an SD card on my device yet, but um, I have put it on my internal storage. Anyways, to get into our custom recovery, once our phone has powered off, what we're gonna need to do is press and hold volume up home button and power button all at the same time. Keep it held down until the first screen lights up and let go now. So go ahead and let go once it says Samsung there and it should reboot us into our custom recovery. Like so. So you'll see I have Clockwork Mod 5.5.0.4 right here. Um, we are ready to install the ROM. First of all, I highly recommend making an Android backup. So go to Backup and Restore, press the Power button to select, Volume buttons to navigate, and press Backup. Um, or you can hit backup to uh, internal SD card if you're like me and don't have an SD card in the device yet. Hit backup to internal SD card, which is what I'm going to do right now. Um, I need to make a backup. So I'm going to make an Android backup. I recommend you do the same, and I'll be back once it's done. All right, as you can see, backup complete. My Android backup is done. So now, once done, I am ready to install my Blazor ROM. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, uh, what I recommend doing is go to white data factory reset. So press the power button, select that, and hit yes. Delete all user data. That would be the first thing you're going to need to do. Uh, let it do its thing. Uh, it's just going to wipe your contacts, your apps, etc. Um, I recommend using an application called Titanium Backup if you want to back up all your applications and such before you do do this. Uh, make sure you back up your contacts, your text messages, anything else data related um, that you want to be able to restore once you install this ROM. Anyways, once done there, go down to Wipe Cache Partition, select that, and hit yes, Wipe Cache. So go ahead and let that format, and then go to the Advanced menu and hit Wipe Dalvik Cache. Press the power button and hit yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache. Once you've wiped data, cache, dial the cache, you're ready to go. Hit uh, go back and then hit install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card or internal SD card wherever you put that uh, ROM zip file. So whether on external SD card or internal SD card. Select it and then select Phantom Blazer uh, LF9 zip, ROM zip or whatever the ROM zip is called. Select it and hit yes, install. So go ahead and install that ROM zip. It will take a bit of time. Usually ROM installs do take a little bit of time. So you're gonna have to be patient with it. Um, I mean, if you, if you get an error, for any reason, generally it means it was a bad download, so try and re-download the ROM zip and flash it again. Um, but anyways, let it do its thing. I'll be back once it's done installing. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. It only took a couple minutes, two, three minutes to install, so I'll give you an idea there. So install from SD card complete. Once it says that, just hit go back and then reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your Galaxy S3 and it should boot up and you should be running the blazer rom and that would be it um otherwise i'm going to go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation so as you can see very cool looks like the international galaxy s3 boot animation there but uh anyways i'm going to be doing a separate review video of this rom so you're definitely going to want to check that out i'll be going over many different things different tweaks 
all that good stuff about the ROM. So be sure to check out my review video. I will link to it in the description. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also, first boot up is going to take a little bit longer than usual. So be patient with that first boot up. Subsequent boot ups will take a lot faster. Just because it's a clean ROM install, it will take uh, a little bit longer. But thanks for watching.